What up traders, what up investors, Ken here from the Dyslexic Investor and we're looking at Virgin Galactic Holdings. This one we have talked about multiple times of trying to break that $21 uh, price target. We've broken that actually uh, of today and closing above it here with a lot of volume coming in. RSI and the volume oscillator showing all very strong signs of potential higher movement and grinding higher to kind of get above that $25 price target we have to the short term uh, to in, in the short to intermediate term. That being said, we had, saw some very interesting trades. We saw a lot of activity actually going out uh, just 14 days. Uh, there was the uh, July 31st, uh, someone purchased 2,000 calls at the 30 call strike price for about around a buck 60. They were kind of going a little bit cheaper towards the end of the day because they kind of the stock kind of sold off towards a little bit of the end of the day, kind of giving back some of its highs. We can kind of look that here at a 15 minute chart to kind of guide what we're talking about. So the the trade we can look at in a second was basically taking place around 12 ish, kind of at the high of the day, kind of sort of came off a little bit, didn't break or didn't sell off drastically, just kind of sold and kind of grinded into a slow uh, slumber into the Friday afternoon trading hours. Again, still a very bullish trade. We're not, we don't normally trade on the 15 minute chart. We trade n normally on the daily, weekly, or even if we go down to the four hour sometimes on our particular trades. There, we did have a squeeze here significantly that really got this momentum going. Got a lot of that uh, juice, got a lot of that rocket fuel fully juiced, uh, put extra nitrous in it, packed some granola bars, and then sent it to the moon. Um, between the five and eight, it's been really propelling this higher. Uh, coming down here just a couple days when we had that overall tech sell-off and like rebalancing of people's portfolios, it, it tapped that 21, didn't break it. That means the trend was still intact. And of course, that really just took it off. We have you have pretty large volume coming in here as well, which is a good sign to have this momentum to continue running. The only concern is that we're looking at here is that it is coming up to earnings. Uh, earnings is suggesting that it's a complete coin flip, and normally, especially with options, the shorter data options, uh, that's why this particular trader is potentially looking for a just a run up into earnings and then expiring uh, again, buying the expiration a week prior to earnings. So trying to really play the run up in the stock here, uh, potentially getting to that 25. Uh, we can kind of look at some other things, but let's look go ahead and look at the trade here to confirm. So the trade came in today at 12.33. Uh, uh, so let's call it 1234 to be politically correct. Uh, and again, we're looking at the 31st of July, the uh, 2020, and then we're looking for the 30 call. So the quantity was 20,000. The price they paid was one a dollar 60. The delta at the time was 0.34, and of course the IV is extremely high in that stock due to the crazy momentum that we have been seeing. Um, the IV has kind of come down here a little bit again. We talked about it, kind of did uh, slowly uh, kind of come off its highs around the $24, $25 level uh, intraday and start sliding lower into basically closing at $24 today. Still, again, it, it was still up 14%. So it wasn't like it just sold off. It was still up substantially at 14%. So this has been an amazing uh, runner for us so far. Uh, again, really holding that, uh, breaking that $21 level, which we really wanted to see, and that really happened uh, great with that gap up today. Now we're looking for that $25 price target. We also want to look at the overall looking at the Fibonacci retracements here. So again, why did we say this is the so the previous swing high, which was 42.50, all the way down to the the low here, uh, was basically uh, the 50% retracement is at. $25.75-ish. It's very significant. So if a stock can kind of break from its basically the 50% fall from the last time it went high and it can break through this with a lot of momentum, potentially even build a base and get another leg higher to go try to break to 30. Again, this uh, buying 2,000 calls of space at this price is pretty uh, hefty uh, amount of money. We're still, they paid a buck 60, so it's going to be a little bit of a different price. So they paid a buck 60, so 300 uh, and twenty thousand uh, dollars that they paid for that particular uh, options for all those two thousand calls. So you can basically, again, the market's closed, so it's kind of in between tw one twenty-five and one thirty-five. Um, basically, you can get a pretty steep discount. So they're fairly they're down on the position again, buying uh, out of the money calls in a, that uh, thirty forty delta. You're going to get a lot of volatility because if the stock 
just kind of starts falling out of favor, that theta is going to kick in, especially being 14 days out. It's really going to be super strong because that you see that theta is basically at uh, very high numbers here at 18. So if you have, for example, if I just did one, that theta is basically using losing nine, almost 10 theta a day. So you're literally bleeding uh, that option. So you're really hoping for this option to really move in the next couple days or the next week. Um, again being very very aggressive here this could really run up to a higher price target and really getting into the money start seeing what those particular options were going for looking for an easy double if the stock can continue and break above that twenty five dollar price target so very interesting to see this happen we're going to be again looking for really looking having that alert out trying to break that fifty percent retracement to see how uh, a lot of the uh, potential fomo could happen uh, over the weekend and people really want to jump in to potentially uh, go along this we do have a lot of earnings coming out next week as well so that could really drive the market i, th I think space is completely disconnected from a lot of the market stuff and it's kind of just trading it doing its own thing and it's been going to be very powerful potentially to kind of break above that 25 percent 25 sorry 50 percent uh, retracement here and i'm looking forward to seeing that again nothing can happen nothing is for sure in the market and it, it could be uh it can completely go to the opposite direction so we're look what are we looking for the downside we're looking for the downside kind of coming support around the 38.2 percentile move around 21 dollars to 20 dollars being a little bit of loosey-goosey with that um, again, we are still kind of far away from the five and eight moving averages. The RSI is not really, uh, it's near, it's oversold. Same with the volume oscillator indicating this could go higher for the next couple days. Um, looking for a potential pop in this, but again, that balloon can pop early and things can kind of start coming down here. Again, first level of support really is going to be around that 21 to $20 level. And then initially down to the 20 or sorry, the 22 to 21. And then it's going to come down to like the 19 and 95 ish level. Basically where the five and eight kind of in between that range is, is reasonable for this potentially to continue grinding higher. If you, this, this very short run momentum it starts breaking uh, breaking this trend would be really uh, tied to breaking the 1770 level or basically start breaking and closing below the 21 that would really create a wash on this and would uh, really burn a lot of people especially if we're uh, looking at this trade again this trade is only 14 days out so uh, and if anything you know that theta really kicks in like 30 days, really 21 days, and 14 days, and seven days, it really starts bleeding. So this is a really uh, strategic bet on, they are really betting that this is really gonna move in the next couple days. So those are the key takeaways uh, for space. I hope you learned something today. If you haven't, uh, hit the thumbs down. If you did, hit the thumbs up. I really greatly appreciate it. I hope to see everyone on the live stream on Sunday. Again, we're going to be talking a lot of earnings stuff, a lot of stocks coming out with earnings this week. So it's going to be pretty fantastic on that and seeing a lot of uh, interest, a lot of uh, interesting stuff coming our way from that. Again, guys, thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Again, this is Ken from the Dyslexic Investor, and I'll catch you guys on the flip side.